So if you're changing your uh, timing belt or whatever the reason, if you need to get this gear off your TDI, uh, off the crank, this crank pulley, not a gear, crank pulley off, of course, get your mo motor locked up in top dead position, your cam and your crank, get them locked together so you don't spin it around and damage your valves. But uh, these Allen heads are stripped out. I think they're... Uh, six millimeter but you're gonna have to hammer something in bigger next allen size uh doesn't work very well but you use a torx head this is a t45 and you're gonna want to put a small extension on it here let me get that hooked up so put a small extension on it kind of get it indexed into the right place Get those teeth at the points of your Allen head. If you can see, uh, if it's stripped out enough, it should kind of go in. And you're going to hammer the piss out of this thing and then turn on it. The, so the hammering will help break it loose. And, uh, of course, it's going to be a much tighter fit than before. And as soon as you've hammered on it and you think it's in, hammer it another ten times. Just hammer the living piss out of it. Get it in there good, uh, good and stuck, and then they should come out. So I've hammered that in really good. Now I'm going to take this extension out. I use the extension just so I can hold it in straight and guide it in straight because you can kind of hammer these things in sideways if you don't have one hand in here holding it straight while you hammer on it. So now you can get your wrench or get your... Uh, ratchet on it or breaker bar like I've got here I may not be able to do this one-handed but we're gonna give it a shot see it's been out of place I need to hammer on it some more so I've hammered on it some more and uh, let's crank on it there we go broke loose three out of the four of them on me stripped out uh, this is a junkyard motor, so I don't know the status of it. These things have probably never been pulled out of there. That's probably why they're in so tight. Anyway, you're going to need to block your flywheel so you can crank on it. Uh, or, or get the motor stopped somehow so you don't spin it around and crack your valves. This one's out of the motor, so i got a wrench on the back side on the flywheel side or flex plate side uh, to hold it still. But that's how you get them out of there. The only other alternative would be to grind them out and then get vice grips on it. That's a pretty risky procedure. Or weld something to it. Weld a regular nut to it maybe would be the alternative. And then that heat, of course, would help too. But when it's in your car, you're going to be working in pretty tight quarters. So that's not very convenient. Hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck if you're in this bind. Uh, I should mention one other thing. Uh, when I reinstall these, I go to the hardware store and get some good metric bolts with a hex head on them so I don't have to battle this again. Maybe it'll snap off. I don't know. Hopefully not, but I get some hex head bolts in there for next time.